Hello guys, who here back with another video. This time around going over the PTS patch notes. So we're getting a new patch uh, quite soon. It is on the PTS server right now, so go check it out on PC. Uh, I will make a video kind of showing uh, kind of what deal is going on and stuff like that. I read a little bit of the patch notes, uh, but I don't know, uh, you know, everything. So will be most of it will be fresh for me as well going into this, but I will also make a video showing it, uh, gameplay and stuff like that I usually do. Uh, but this uh, patch is called Into the Deep. So basically we're gonna fight some new bosses. And to go into the patch notes, we got these new bosses. I'm not gonna say the name because I'm gonna mess it up. I, I tried to do different recordings and I messed up the name every time. So I just decided not to tell you or say the name, but you can see what they're called right here. And basically they're, uh, as I haven't, like I said, I haven't been on the PTS server, but I assume that they are uh, stronger world bosses. So it would be like a tier five boss or something like that. Uh, kind of like a shadow tower boss. That's kind of what I wanted to say. Like maybe uh, depending on what uh, Uber world you are in, it's gonna be like different. Maybe U10 is gonna be like uh, Dreadnought or something like that. Not in maybe in gameplay, but in like difficulty, how strong it is. Or maybe like some of the, uh, what is it called? Um, Maybe they're doing the same uh, mechanic as they do to the Rampage bosses, where you can only do one damage to them. But if you want characters that could do very fast damage, you're basically going to do this. But instead of uh, these bosses, you know, uh, being, or the Rampage bosses coming like every half an hour or, you know, every hour or something like that, as we uh, usually is, uh, these bosses are going to be something you find out in the uh, Geo topside world. So I think it's going to be just like uh, you find a dragon outside in somewhere in the world. It's going to be the same way uh, as it is like that, but stronger than a, than any of the dragons. But let's start reading the patch notes. So uh, diligent explorers might find ways to some new world bosses in Geo topside, and these are the monstrous. Uh, bosses living underneath the surface. So we don't know yet uh, if these are just bosses you ran, run into or it's like the dragons, uh, for example, the sea, deep sea one, like the deep sea dragon uh, has special areas where you can find this, dra uh, you know, these bosses or dragons. Uh, it has special room where it's a portal you go down and stuff like that. We don't, I don't know if there's going to be a specific boss room. You go, you find the boss room and then you can go into it so you don't uh, accidentally uh, stomp upon it. I don't think it's going to come from the, uh, from the, the sky like the rampage bosses do uh but i think it's going to be a mix of what we already kind of know a little bit uh about so next thing is there's going to be three version of these bosses each of them having their own giant and dangerous abilities so uh there's also different uh you know as rampage bosses there's also different uh, of those that has different abilities just like the uh what's it called also the shadow tower bosses so that's what i mean by i think it's a mix of uh, all these other mechanics that we already know about. So next thing is the eight players who defeat the m most uh, bosses each day will receive an ego potion. So or ego potion, sorry, <laughs> ego, ego, ego potion. Uh, so these ego potions can uh, be used to temporarily increase in the size of the player's head and unused potions will vanish during uh, each uh, weekly reset. So these potions do not do anything other than you can you can get a bigger head and have kind of fun with that. Um, I don't know, really know why it would do that. Uh, I wish it would give something else, but not something um, overpowered. But I guess this is better than giving something that you absolutely have to grind every single week or something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, at least you're getting at something and there's something you can uh, farm for to so get these uh, ego potions. All right, next is defeating these bosses increases the chance of dropping Crystal 3. This is what is really amazing. Uh, this is actually the first time we know that something like these bosses are actually going to uh, these bosses are actually going to give an increase to Crystal Three. And I've been talking, and if you have been on stream, I've talked about Crystal Three being so random and being so hard to get. And this this is absolutely what we need. Uh, it was not what I talked about on stream. Uh, but at least that this is something in the right direction where making it less RNG, where you can hunt these special special bosses and then actually have a, a increased chance. We don't know how much it is, but at least an increased chance is at least better than 
uh, the random chance we have now for for anything. And I wish this not coming in like uh, these bosses, but was in the five star dungeons that we see. And there was uh, just an even bigger boss in these dungeons. But I guess they're doing it like this. And if they do have their own kind of dungeon or bigger dungeon, uh, it's kind of like what we kind of wanted from the five star dungeons, but just getting it kind of in one other way, I guess. Uh, while the drop uh, rate increased uh, with, with higher Ubers, Crystal 3 equipment can drop from uh, U3, uh, or sorry, U8, that's what I mean, U3. Uh, I was thinking Crystal 3, but U8, U8, you can actually go into U8 and you can actually start getting Crystal 3 items. This is actually um, something I'm kind of divided on, I would say, because I feel like the Crystal 3 should be something for U10 and stuff like that, but I think it's awesome for the people that are not that there yet to go to U10 can go and defeat these bosses as well uh, together. And then, you know, and we have no idea, we have no idea as it is right now, if the boss is going to be as strong in U8 as it's going to be in U10. Uh, that would be great, but then it will also kind of destroy the purpose of being in U8 or something like that. But uh, no idea what the damage numbers are or how the, how the whole thing, how strong these bosses are. I hope to uh, fight some of them on the PTS server, kind of show you guys all of that and, and stuff like that. But also these bosses also drop torches, which you can uh, grant you light. Uh, if you don't know what light is, that is the damage stat you get in uh, you uh, eight, nine, and ten to your top side to uh, defeat them. Basically, basically monsters has dark, and you use the light to defeat them, and then can use in your banner slot. So there again, uh, uh, thank God, using this banner slot even more now, and I I love the idea of using the banner slot for all of these things. You can also craft these torches but these are all only temporary ones uh, also um next is there's both temporary there's some fragile ones and they re they're, they're, these uh, temporary ones last until the reset and the next the the fragile uh, only last a day so you can kind of make them and just for a day or you can have these uh, torches that drop from the bosses you can have those uh, and they, they don't, I, I would say that these that drop from the bosses are not going to uh, disappear at all. I think they're uh, just like the other ones probably, and there's like better versions and, and, and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, pretty, pretty awesome uh, indeed. Uh, so these bosses, uh, I wouldn't say this is a big, super huge change. Uh, uh, yes, it's, it is an increase to Crystal 3, but I wouldn't say this is like, overall a, a crazy change or anything or addition basically um but yeah it's pretty cool uh general adventure update so adventure heroes now have an exclamation mark over their head so uh if you are used to world of warcraft or many other uh, mmos they have an exclamation mark on them and they're actually making them different colors which is really nice so the yellow ones are in uh is indicated for trovian heroes and then Gar uh, uh, geoden heroes has a blue one uh, makes a lot of sense that it's yellow and blue and then green is for events heroes so if there is an event that has a, a quest for you uh, they're going to do so uh, have these exclamation marks if they have some quests for you which is absolutely amazing and makes it a lot easier to see if somebody has like at a distance you can see if there is somebody that's in there that wants to uh, help you out give you something so then it says all adventures from the adventure heroes now state uh, which type of adventure uh, is being accepted okay okay uh, I do have to look at that some more. I'm not sure you're sure what that means, but uh, I guess maybe you do <laughs> more than I do. Uh, the intervention with the hotkey I or of activities uh, now uh, have additional information about how to find adventures. Oh, that was something we really needed. So there's going to be a better explanation at it. And that's really nice. I do have a video ex explaining all that because there wasn't really anything like that. Well, second thing or more things they are doing is that club adventures are being uh, revamped. Uh, I don't think I want to like read all of this. Um, basically, all of this, they're just boosting. I, I can see down here that like mythical uh, or mysterious champions now is now rare instead of common and stuff like that. Maybe they're doing some kind of rotation to it. At least they're increasing how much you can, uh, you know, uh, 
how much you can increase the experience cap and stuff like that, which is awesome. Uh, so if you want to read this, of course, I have put it in the description. I should have said that in the beginning. I hope you guys uh, watched it far enough. Uh, but I will put this into the show. You can guys can read all of this if you want to. You can basically also pause the video if you want to do so. But the link should be in the description. So you can just go there, read all about the club adventure. Uh, there's more coming down as you can see there's something called you then pulled out i'll post down there but all of this is is something i will read it but uh basically it's just uh, an update to all the club adventures so if you are interested in that you should go check this on out and also there's some boost and stuff like that and also uh something i just saw here that they never sleep so they uh, that's pretty good as well that's something that's been around forever and wasn't really a big deal but you know it, you know boost that that's that's in necessary i think to and a very old uh thing to to club adventures at least so but go check that out in the description and there's more information down there as well so go check that out next thing we're going to talk about is the geoden outpost adventures uh these are the ones you have out in the world that is at the uh, there's two guys at the uh, spawn and also there's they are also at um what's it called at the different outposts there you find around the world uh in uh geo topside and stuff like that so geo topside and caves adventures now both considered as being okay so they're now uh, both the same uh guys so those these are the cave guys there were some cave guys in there so they're the, basically the same so they will have the green uh, green marker no so sorry, sorry blue marker over their heads because they're not a vet <laughs> but they will have the blue ones uh, as well uh, only one geodin outpost can be activated at a time okay uh adventure in reward reduced to five completing one at a time increased to okay so also the geodin outpost now give 350 Oh, they gave a venture nice 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 also uh let's see figure out likely to stop and help uh many of these are just small changes to everything like that uh again also requirement for the five star adventure reduced to two down from three that's pretty nice uh so this seems pretty standard so again if you want to read this you can go to the description i didn't know that I thought there was a bigger overhaul to this, but it doesn't seem that there is. But it seems to be a very much a bigger overhaul to the whole uh, oh, out Trovian outpost adventures. So uh, the outpost of light now appears on the map at, uh, as an adventure outpost. There's outpost in the can we, uh, let me see have been reconstructed with Solvo, Sam and Anudra. And a personal chest okay so there is now outpost in the normal u8 worlds uh it also seems that there is also outpost in the i don't know why they say the uh icelands and the drowned world because those are the uh, the fire and the water world that we usually found specific water gems and fire gems but there doesn't say anything about the air world i'm not sure why it, it doesn't say that but at least there is now these outposts where you can uh, you can uh, pick up these uh, adventure outposts so these are of course quests you can find out there and these quests are probably just like the juden ones that you can find out there but maybe we will know more when we read a little bit more okay so it says here the outpost can spawn in every biome okay so every biome that means also okay uh, I guess with uh, the other air world but uh, i might be mistaking beginning with the permafrost world players will enter prime and uh enter prime and the elemental at oh so i, I think uh oh prime yes and then oh the elemental world at the adventure outpost okay yes okay uh outpost shrines has also been renamed to adventure outpost their adventure is considered uh, being out Etrovian out adventures. I kind of look into this. So this is probably going to be more light, or I'm going to shine some more light on it. You no know, going into the PTS server. So yeah, each uh, Etrovian outpost adventure can only be completed once a day. Okay, uh, Etrovian outpost adventure now gives 75 for each. Uh, so don't know really what that means. If it you can only do it once, you can only get 75. But we'll see that when I do some gameplay on it. The outpost merchant can be found in outposts who will trade adventurine for adventurine strong box keys bombs and an adventure launch box okay pretty pretty damn neat that uh, let's hopefully can know some more about what that is but yeah i'll definitely find one of those and do that there's now adventure heroes at the adventure which each biome has unique adventures nice in the adventure worlds okay 
uh, wherein to play. Uh, they have a hero which gives uh, collect five gem boxes. Nice. Uh, there's an adventure being identified as their dragon head. Okay, cool. In the drowned world, and uh, uh, they're in, uh, addressed as Bohilda, who requests to find a fish. Oh, okay, so so some of these very. Uh, I guess it makes a lot of sense if you read all of these uh, before you go into this. I should have maybe done that, but it, it it just seemed like a lot of things. But I think they took out a lot of the quests that was just in the club worlds and just took them out and give them give them to these guys instead of you having gone to the world and now making them probably like a lot better to go to the different club worlds and stuff like that and picking up quests there and then giving them more mundane to the people out there so if you are just running around and you're doing something you know or just sitting there fishing actually you could be there just fishing and you can just stand next to Bronhilda and do that but you can probably also do that in the club world now that I think about it but yeah uh, all tra Trovian outposts in the in the low low uh, in the luminosity. I can't say that, but now offers one specific adventure. Okay, a new spider spider hero has been added to provide uh, some plasmium. This hero has been found in the pink tower outside where the sugar glider cami was previous located. Okay, uh, there is then definitely the fish cami, the griffin cami, the torches cami. And also the bird cami now uh, for chart circuit can be crafted. So all of these are pretty nifty. I can see that just the right ahead. But there's a few changes and and you should definitely go check that out. The Lu defeat adventure now provides credit for the first three monsters from any source. Okay, from any source. That's pretty good. That's an upgrade. Adventure outposts found in no uh, can no longer be damaged. Oh, okay. So you cannot damage these anymore. So that is another. Uh, dip into uh, people's uh, kind of things and, and stuff like that uh, basically people were made in uh, farms out of it and stuff like that but now can't be damaged I think that has a I haven't used it much myself so I don't know, really know but most of it I think is just yeah this a donation station has been added to the adventure in okay so donating plasmum charge circle loop uh, gives a chance of receiving adventure boxes oh okay nice very nice rampage boxes may now also be summoned at these donation for the same cost uh, as oh so you can just craft you can just make them there that's pretty neat that's actually pretty neat and didn't you don't have to throw them and stuff like that i don't really think that's going to change anything but that's a neat addition the plasma calls a beacon and summon rampage boss has been has been increased as they are now uh, being summoned immediately. Uh, okay, uh, that's really okay. Uh, I gotta look into that. How that really is, is a is a good thing or a bad thing. Completing Trovian outpost adventure has a chance to gain locked adventure locked adventurine boxes. Okay, locked adventurine box requires. Oh the oh okay. So these can yeah okay. So you gotta buy the keys and you can get the oh okay nice. Uh, the locked adventure bean box contain allies, including a pinata ally uh, appropriate to current season. Amount of ra rarely and non tradable oh non tradable costume and very very a, a, a tradable costume. Wow! So they are actually putting in costumes for these. This is actually pretty neat. That is pretty neat. So very nice overhaul. I'll like definitely look out into all of these uh, outposts and what they do and stuff like that. So definitely for sure. Uh, the store. First time each uh, credit pack now. Oh, okay. Oh, you get extra credits. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, the the level twenty five pack has arrived. Oh, uh, purchasing this pack receive in power gem box each type plus a class boost level twenty five. Oh, a class boost. Nice. Oh, very nice. And it's just uh, the class boost now is an item the consumer set class to the level twenty five. Okay. And then you put it so this is what you want to use on a level one character of course you don't want to use in like 24 or something like that but yeah uh boost it cannot be used on trial classes classes that are already over 25 so it doesn't really matter uh replace the power deal 250 with four line lines with one uh for 100 105 dragonite okay that seems pretty weird but now we're in the additional update this is where it also gets kind of spicy sometimes a class key is now granted uh, when each class reaches 25. Okay, note that these class must be switched in order to note that these classes must be switched in order to receive the, this. Oh, okay, so I think if you already are 25, if you have all max characters and you switch onto a character, it's gonna give you the key. Uh, but 
new classes that reach 75 are also going to get a key. So this is actually pretty awesome. This is actually pretty awesome uh, to just make it a lot easier for people to get their class keys, even though they drop pretty often. And when you're 25, you should get it. But it, it, this is at least something you are going to get. That's that is very, very nice. Additional rare allies can now be found in the inhabitants. Ooh, and the harvest and things. So we get more allies now from gardening. So uh, that's going to revive some gardening stuff. That's awesome. Uh, Geo topside large dungeons. That is, of course... Uh, uh, Oh, th those large dungeons, I think that's the three-star ones, uh, are now more likely to be five-stars, uh, opponents and to be three-stars, yes. So there's less three-stars and more five-star dungeons, okay? Down with layers, up with one-star dungeons. Layers uh, now will only refer the dead end in... Oh, okay. Instead of, instead of also referring some... Okay, so I'm not sure what that exactly means, but it, for me, this sounds that there's going to be more one-star dungeons. Increase the amount of one-star dungeons which spawn in the uh, Saren Swamp sub-biome in the... Okay, so the, even more? Oh, oh yeah, these are... Um, so have you ever been in the jungle biome? It's called Jurassic Jungle, uh, but the, I always call it the jungle biome. Uh, if you are in those, uh, there is uh, there is some of the part of that jungle biome that is like has a canopy that has like a, a roof on it. There's tons of dungeons in there. It's one of the best places to level. Uh, and then you have like the side areas or the areas that hasn't there is not very much dungeons there There's like the lowest I think of the whole game I think that's where it is But now that is getting more dungeons or spawning more one-star dungeons not uh, three-star dungeons But one-star dungeons, which is really really nice because these swamps were just like just barren Absolutely barren. There was actually some good spawns of mini boss uh, like mini uh, Mini bosses and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah to levitate performance issues, oh, for some users, uh, updraft trees in the, oh, okay, has has been left calm. Okay, so there's some trees uh, in in the, the, I don't know what that's, but it's one of the, in the jungle, basically, and it has always been a problem. It's always been a problem, especially when the, the biome first came out. It was absolutely horrible uh, with the how much it, it took up the performance and stuff like that, but it has gotten better, uh, but also we go there less now, so yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Fix an issue where Atlas could become unsponsible after resizing the window. Okay, very nice. The Gather Fleet uh, Trovians objective spawns slightly less frequent and gives slightly better loot. Oh, okay. Very nice. That's actually a very, very awesome. I think that's a very, very awesome. When it says slightly, uh, I think it should be actually be even better because it incentive pe people to play together and actually invite each other to these. So that would actually be awesome if it was actually even better. But it's also hard to make it too OP, basically. So, yeah. Uh, the city and now also slightly different colors on the world map. Okay, cool. Uh, in the, okay, so these uh, this biome, I think that is the deep sea uh, in the drowned world, has now a claw icon on the world map. Okay. Uh, usually there was just a big blue <laughs> point on it, basically like that. Empty open lava seas now exist. Uh, in the, okay, this isn't anything. Uh, there isn't isn't anything to do here, but make sure uh, <laughs> make sure them look them. Okay, so they just made the map look nicer. Very nice. I love that. I love that just to, to put that in. Dog the moon backslash attack should now do enough damage to one shot even the most pro the most powerful trovian so uh i call this th not the backslash i call the one shot mechanic so basically she puts down her sword in the in, in the ground and he does she does like a like a wind up and then she does like a swing and that kind of one shots people uh but with all the damn oh sorry with all the health you can get now and stuff like that you can survive it but now they have increased the numbers and that's absolutely amazing that is something, this is something I want to see. This is something that, like, a very small change and doesn't really, oh, okay. But this is actually, not, I'm not even saying this, like, to joke, but this is actually one of the most uh, best lines in the whole patch notes. I, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even making jokes or anything like that. This is the most, most awesome thing that is in the patch notes because Shadow Towers is the end game right now, and it should be super hard. It should be even even larger, tw even two or three times larger with s millions and millions of bosses. I'm over dramatic, and yes, I know, but I'm just saying, Shadow Tower should be harder, should be have more significance, should have be hard, like bigger, better, and everything. 
make sh uh, this like make shadow towers great again that's what i'm saying <laughs> attacking spike walk and shadow towers as a melee carry should uh, be slightly easier okay uh <laughs> going going backwards now that's that's okay i guess that's a, that's a little thing uh sharp stone or shape stone or, or is now more common in the medieval highlands world that's great cinnabar no longer spawns in the medieval highlands world okay yeah, i don't know didn't did do that uh some of the early golden threat steps has been tweaked okay that's um that's an not not an event what's it called an expertise that's an, basically that Cubes the allies now gives two jumps instead of superstition. Nice, I guess that's better. Uh, the Lun Lundian patron. Oh, that that's uh, these are dragons. Uh, now has now returned to out of fire abilities uh, to be excluded. Okay, okay. So these are the I think these are the uh, water and the fire primordial dregs. I think that's awesome. Actually, now that they, they actually mentioned it, this update says nothing about the cosmic uh, dragon, which is kind of sad. Uh, I think that could have been uh, maybe it's down further down. I don't think it is. It should. I think it would have been like up there somewhere if there was. Um, Saltwater uh, Sam has packaged uh, worm sale. Uh, oh, packaged in. Okay. Oh, now offers the. Oh, okay. Nice. There's a new uh, new sale in there. Okay, gotta buy that. Uh, spear vault styles can now be obtained. Okay, so spears vault styles can now be obtained through the super. Oh, okay, nice. And a spear vault stash recipe has been added to the room crafting. Okay, nice, nice. That so you can just uh, you can actually there was apparently not one of these that's pretty. So use your uh, vault uh, styles to stashes to uh, get that. Fixed an issue could not uh, unlocker. Uh, okay, collectible already been unlocked. Okay. Uh, deconstructing fish uh, at the composting bench. Oh, now gives all of the rewards instead of just a trophy. Nice, that's great. Because deconstructing trophy, uh, deconstructing fish never really did anything <laughs> other than giving you the trophy. So yeah, trial classes can no longer gain experience beyond level four. Oh, I did. I had no idea to get good. Experience coins now gives an arrow when it uses on a trial or max class instead of. Uh, Instead of slightly not working, okay. <laughs> si oh, silently, silently not uh, working. Okay, I thought it was slightly not working. <laughs> Some of the allies from the promotion series has been uh, moved to the Dev's Dream cell and now, and now can be acquired using oh Dev's Dream ally boxes. Cool, very nice. Renamed Cosmic Empowered Gym boxes and uh, Water Treasure Urns to Empower Cosmic Gym boxes and Empower Water Gym boxes. Okay, uh, I thought they were. <laughs> the crystal oldest section in of the Dude Adventures tracker has been removed. Okay, uh, fix a bug where class uh, would sometimes confuse about club locks. Okay, that's good. Mo the Moon Goddess has chilled out a bit. Uh, moonlight bolts will now disappear after three out three hours instead of one. That's good. Uh, not a lot of people use this, but great. <laughs> Uh, mounts that are planted seeds no longer uh, avoid club world caps. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so, so you can't, uh, you know, you uh, you can't put down your mounts and and add more things. I thought it was already, I, it was it was nice, but I would just like it to be fixed. It's not a big deal, but yeah. The ship of Jude, the ship to Jude will finally disappear in the hub once it changes to winter. Oh. Maybe we'll get something other than in winter. <laughs> Still stickers, enemies should now be easier to hit in combat. Great. Uh, corrected some gray voxels on armored abyssal. Uh, so I think it's a, it's, a, it's a mount or something like that. But yeah, uh, nice update uh, overall. Uh, great that we can get a better way to get crystal three items. Um, is this a very insane over the top kind of uh drop dead uh imp improvements yes there is some improvement that was needed and club adventure yes that that is something uh that was probably needed there's something also needed with the outposts uh there's some uh, updates and i also said the thing about god the moon and stuff like that but overall uh i won't i won't say meh because uh, that's kind of harsh to say so with the devs, the size of the devs team right now, and something did came come out of it. We're still waiting for that producer letter. Uh, I thought we were gonna actually see it by now. 
Uh, I've had kind of given up on it. That's why you haven't seen it on the channel, but at least now you have the patch notes and I will, like I said, I will make a, a video on the PTS server tomorrow. Uh, just trying to get, see if I can find some of these bosses, uh, if I can find some of the outposts and kind of show you guys all of that. But all in all, uh, it, it's it's a needed, uh, and it also seems quite big when there's so much stuff that is in here, but it, it's also a great overhaul to the clubs and to the outposts and stuff like that. And I kind of like the idea that they all make everything kind of outposty and, and stuff like that. So I see this video being over 30 minutes now, so I don't even know if you have been watching this far. Uh, again, if you've been watching this far, thank you so much for doing so. And make sure you, of course, subscribe and also you like. Uh, and with that said, uh, I think I'm going to sign off. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.